Hello, this video is about factor theorem. So we want to solve some questions on factor theorems. Let's look at some interesting questions on factor theorems. Now, um, we shall start with this particular question that says, find the factors of, find the factors, let me call, let me write this. Example one, find the factors, find the factors of uh, f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now I want to find the factors of that particular uh, polynomial. This is a polynomial of third degree because the highest degree of x is 3. Now, how do we find the factors of this particular polynomial? Now, we are going to use what we call trial and error method to find the factors of this polynomial. What do I mean by trial and error method? That means you assume some values for x. So if, when you assume such values for x, the polynomial is equal to zero, that means that value that you assume for x is a factor. That means that value can divide this polynomial. So let's, let's start, let's start. Now, we always start with x is equals to one. You know, let x be equals to one. The meaning of that is saying that, that is f of x is equals to f of one. That's what we mean by that statement. f of x is equals to what? That is the meaning of that statement. Let x equals to one. Now, by the time you put x equals to one in this function, so you're gonna have what? Let's try. So we have two into one cube minus one squared minus two multiplied by one plus one. So what will it give us? Let's check. This is two, one cube is one raised power three, that's times two, that's two. Then minus one square is one, minus one, minus two, then plus one. What is the result? This is two minus two is one. One minus two is minus one. Minus one plus one is zero, fine. Since f of x, that is f of one is equal to f of, I mean, is equal to zero. That is when we put one into the function, we get zero. Then x is equal to one. You know, that is x equals to one. It is x equals to one that gives us zero. Is a factor. That is x minus one. But you know by one, this one comes here because minus is equals to zero is a factor. See, you understand? So let me write it properly. That is x minus one is a factor divisor call it factor divisor. Okay, factor divisor. I hope that is clear. Let's, tr let's try again, let's check another one. If we divide this function now by x minus one, which I call the factor divisor, we are going to get zero. There won't be remainder. Let's check again, let's try. Let x be equal to minus one. Mm -hmm. That is, that is, f of x is equal to f of minus one. Let's check this also. Let's check this. Uh, we will need to clean this up. We need to clean this up. Okay. You know, f, I mean, x is equal to one is a factor. That is, x minus one is a factor divisor. Now I want to try x is equal to minus one. That is, you put f to be minus one in factor, huh? What's the, the function is, I think I've cleaned that, that was the function. The function is two x cubed, that is the polynomial function, minus x squared, minus two x plus one, good. So f of minus one <coughs> will now be two into minus one cubed, minus minus one squared, minus two into minus one, plus one. So what would that give us? Let's try. 
Now, minus 1 raised to the power 3 is minus 1 3 times. That is minus 1 times 2. That's minus 2. Then minus 1 raised to the power 2 is 1 plus 1 times 1. That's minus 1. Okay? That's minus 1. 2 times minus 1. That's plus 2. Then plus 1. So let's check. Plus 1. Okay? It's minus 3 plus 3. That's 0. Fine. So it also means that. It also means that. Let's clean it. Let's clean it. It also means that. This means, this implies, x is equal to minus 1 is also a factor. Yes, it's also a factor. That is, when you bring minus 1 here, it becomes x plus 1 is a divisor. It's a factor divisor. It's a factor divisor. Okay? Good. Now, we can still get another factor. So that means that if we divide this function by x plus 1, we get zero. If we divide this from another function. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Let's suppose now that we have used plus one and minus one, we can start with rational functions like fractions. So let's let x be equal to one over two. Let's x be equal to one over two. That is f of x is equal to f of 1 over 2. Let's check. Okay, we put 1 over 2 into the function. That means 2 into 1 over 2 cube minus 1 over 2 squared minus 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 plus 1. So that implies two, 1 over 2 raised to the power 3 is 1 over 8. So you know that is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, times 1 over 2. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, all over 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. I hope you get that. Beautiful. So, that means we have 2 multiplied by 1 over 8, then minus 1 over 2 square is 1 over 4. 1 over 4, then minus 2 times 1 over 2, that is minus 1. I hope you got that. 2 we cancel 2, so minus 1 plus 1. Now let's check whether it's going to be 0. Automatically, minus 1 plus 1 cancels out. That is 0. Then this is 2 over 2 times 1 over 8. That is 2 times 1 over 8. That is 1 over 4. Because 2 here, 1, 2 here, 4. 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4, that's 0. So but this is already 0, so everything is 0. So that means x is equal to half is also a factor. That is x. That implies x is equal to 1 over 2 is also a factor. Hence, x minus 1 over 2 is also a factor divisor. It's a factor divisor as well. If you use it to divide that polynomial, it will divide it. Okay. So in this case now, therefore, our factors are our factors are mm -hmm, x is equal to 1, x equals to minus 1, and uh, x is equal to half. So these are the factors for this one. If you use any of them to divide the polynomial function, the result will be 0. Okay? I hope, that's, I hope that is clear. I hope that is clear. Beautiful. If that is clear, let's move on to the next question. If that is clear, Let's move on to the next question. Okay. Now, in the next question, you want to find the remainder of a particular, um, you know, uh, function. Find the remainder. This is the quickest approach. Find the remainder when f of x which is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared mm -hmm. minus, okay, oh, that, we have done that, we have done that. Sorry, sorry, is that? No, it's not, it's not what we have done. Sorry about that. So minus x minus 10, 
Uh, let me check this properly so that I don't run into trouble. 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus x minus 10. Beautiful. Uh -huh. X minus 10 is divided is divided by 2x plus 1. Beautiful. Now, I want to find the remainder. There are two ways to this. There are... Let's look at this. The divisor here is 2x plus 1. Let's that divisor 2x plus 1. Let it be equal to 0. Yes, that divisor. So that implies 2x. That is when you take my plus 1 here, it becomes what? Minus 1. So dividing both sides by x, you have what? x is equal to minus 1 over 2. You know, when you divide both sides by that, you divide this by x, I mean by 2. Not dividing both sides by x, that's a slip of tongue. Dividing both sides by 2, sorry. So when you divide both sides by 2, you will have x is equal to minus 1 over 2. Okay? Good. Now, find the put f of x equals to f of minus 1 over 2. What do I mean by this statement? That is, in my x, in this polynomial equation, let me remain, re replace it by minus half. Okay, let's go there. That implies, you know, x is now minus 1 over 2, which is uh, what I want to use in my function, polynomial function. So yeah, let's 2 minus 1 over 2 cube minus 3 minus 1 over 2 square minus minus 1 over 2 minus 10. Uh -huh. So I've replaced x by minus half. So we have 2 times minus 1 over 2, 3 times. That's minus 1 over 8. I hope you have, you have, we have done that before. Then you can check. You can check that. Minus 1 over 2 times minus 1 over 2 times minus 1 over 2 is minus 1 over 8. Minus, minus times, okay, minus 3, minus 1 over 2 squared. That's 1 over 4. The minus times minus plus half, the minus 10. Okay. Now, let's quickly do this. 2 multiplied by this as minus 1 over 4. Yes, that is 2 here, 2 here, 2 here, 1, 2 here, 4, minus 1 over 4. Then minus 3 over 4, beautiful. Plus 1 over 2, yes. Then minus 10 over 1. Let's find the SM quickly. The SM is 4. 4 in 4 is 1. 1 times minus 1, minus 1. Then minus 4 in 4 is 1. 1 times minus 3, minus 3. Then plus 2 in 4. That is 2. 2 times 1, 2. Minus 1 in 4. That is 4. Times 10. That's 40. So this one gives us minus 3, minus 1, minus 3. That's minus 4. Minus 4 plus 2. That's what? That's minus 2. Minus 2 minus 40. That's minus 42. All over 4. Okay? So what goes? 2 can go here. Minus 21. 2 can go here too. Because whatever you use to divide the numerator must be used to divide the numerator. So this is going to us minus 21 all over 2. So minus 21 over 2 is the remainder. Hello. By the long division method, by the long division method, which is the second method, let us check and see which of the two methods is, uh, you know, is faster and easier. Now we have, this is what? The polynomial function. We have to be careful here when we are carrying out the long division method. Okay, we have to be very careful. Now, fine. We first divide by the first factor here, which is what? 2s cubed. And so, 2s cubed all over the first factor here in our divisor, 2x. 2, we cancel 2. x and x cubed, we have x squared. So, you write x squared here. Okay? Now, you now multiply 2x plus 1 by x squared. So that means you can write it here. x squared times 2x plus 1. When you multiply out, you have what? 2x cubed plus x squared. So write 
टू एस क्यूब प्लस ए स्क्वायर क्या ओके टू एस क्यूब प्लस ए स्क्वायर एंड दैट इज दैट नाउ सोप्रेट द रिजल्ट यू हैव ऑप्टेन नाउ फ्रॉम व्हाट यू हैव हियर इंट्रोड्यूस माइनस साइन दिस विल माइनस प्लस साइन हियर विल चेंज टू व्हाट माइनस सो माइनस थ्री ए स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर दैट व्हाट माइनस फोर ए स्क्वायर Okay, now bring down the next number minus x. Fine. Now divide two x. I mean divide minus four x squared by two x. Minus four x squared by two x, just as it did for the first one. X we cancel one x here. You have minus then two in four x. That is two x. Beautiful. Now multiply. This two x plus one by minus two x, so it's going to go out. That's minus four x squared. Beautiful. What? Minus two x times plus one minus two x. Good. So what happens now? We subtract the one down from the one up. So into this minus, this minus we cancel this minus. This going to plus plus. This one is going to become plus. Okay. So let's check. Now minus x. Plus two x because this one was already cancelled out because this is now minus four x squared plus four x squared cancelled out. That's zero. Now minus x plus two x that gives us what? That is plus x. How would that is noted? That's plus x then minus ten. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's divide plus x by two x. X all over two x. Ah, you are asking. Was that is that possible? It's very possible. Yes. Now x can x here one x here one so we have one over two. So now what? Remember it is plus plus half. Okay, so that means by the time you now expand plus half with this, you have x then half times plus one plus half. Oh, you are wondering well, how did I get my uh, x here? Okay, half times two x, half times two x over one. Two can say uh, what we have one, two year one. So x we have it. Okay. Now let's subtract what we have here from this. That is the whole of this from this now. So it will be minus minus. Okay. That is x minus ten uh, over. I mean my x plus plus x minus ten. We are subtracting minus x minus half from it. Okay. So x minus x will cancel out. So what do we have left here? We have minus ten minus half. Let's check that. Let's write that somewhere. Let's check that and see. Let's check that and see. So minus ten minus half. That is got minus ten one over two. And if you want to take express this one in uh, in proper fraction, you have. Ten times two, that's twenty. That's minus twenty-one over two. So if you compare this with the result we highly obtained when we use short method, you will see that <clears throat> the answers are the same. So the remainder, when f of x is equal to this, is divided by this divisor, is minus twenty-one all over two. So I want us to you know round off here so that uh, the video will not be too long. So uh, in the next video we shall talk more on. How to find, you know, the factors of uh, polynomials? Then, when we are given some constants in the polynomial functions, and we have to find the values of such constants, we shall discuss that in the next video. If you enjoy this video, please kindly give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and share. God bless you.